那像这样子的机会要怎么样，我们才能参与像这样子的一些活动呢？那我们欢迎下一个讲者，就是我们呃 ，Facing the Ocean，Facing the Ocean 的呃，伊莎贝要上来吗？<笑>对我跟奶茶，我我想说，等等等等等等，对，好，那呃，由伊莎贝尔，然后以及就是韩国的 Party 的 Me， 还有就是呃，刚才也有登场的妈，那个日本 c o f o Japan 的妈咪桑，那妈咪桑跟咪桑现在应该已经在线上等我们，对，那没关系，我们由就是呃，那我们请伊莎贝尔先开始我们的分享好了。Okay, okay. I will speak in English because I think Mommy and me will use English to do the presentation.、Um, this is about the facing the ocean meat and hack.、Um, I was wondering、um, how many of you have never heard about facing the ocean. Can you raise your hand? Okay, that's great. Yeah, I'm happy to know that because I think if everyone knows about facing the ocean, there's not much I can share today. Okay,、uh, facing the ocean, uh, meet and hack. Um, it's about like two years when we started it in Seoul, um, in December 2018. Shahi. So, what's it facing the ocean? It's、um, civic community members from、um, four major area or countries to join together to meet and hack and having fun together and hack together. So it's from、um, South Korea, Japan, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, and we are expecting more、uh, people from more countries to join us. Oh,、uh, so how is the, this idea came from? It's all. It's all about having fun together, you know, because um, um, in uh, 2018, uh, I, I and Chi Hao and Pomi, uh, Pomi and Chi Hao are co-chair of this、uh, Gov Zero Hack、uh, Summit this year. So、uh, we went to、uh, so to join the um, 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 OGP local meeting together, and、uh, we met uh, uh, Ohyong. And the CEO、uh, and the GJ,、uh, who are from Party.、Uh, that Party is a coop in in South a corporation in South of,、um, South Korea. So we are having coffee together after long,、uh, dinner, and、um, we are talking about、um, the stupid things、um, the government do. So we have these three different、um, examples, like a、uh, uh, Taiwanese government. Uh, they they built this Shimu Yu Xiao Statute, milk fish kit, which is kind of horrifying, I, I think. And then the the people the. Uh, the friends in South Korea, they say, "No, this is not fun." Our, tr our government trying to build a, a tunnel from north to south and put the artificial fish into it. I say, "What? Are you kidding?" Then we say, well, "Yeah, we should make.、Uh, we should because we joined the OGP, Open Government Partnership. We say that maybe we should build up、um, a partnership like a, a stupid government part." Uh, part, part, partnership. Then we say, "Oh yeah, this would be fun." But、um, you know, every time we met at an international conference, we just talk and、uh, having having food together and say goodbye. It's kind of、um, boring or kind of a、uh, conchu after that. So we say maybe we can、uh, do something together. I say, yeah, we have a hack zone by monthly in in Taiwan, and I think the Gavir hack zone is a really、uh, great way to meet people and、uh, invite people to collaboration together, to collaborate together. So、um, next, so we're trying to find people who are interest,、uh, who 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 was interested in this idea. Then we find、uh, Halusan from Kofu Japan. And、uh, now some from Kofu Japan, the mommy song, and、uh, we start our first、uh, meeting online, and we reach out for more people.、Uh, this is a seal from Nuofu, 
and we have Lulu from OCF, <laughs> Open Culture Foundation. And then we decided, yeah, we need to find somewhere in, in the middle of three different the three countries, which should be Okinawa. <laughs> but this is totally a mistake, you know, because it's really far away from Tokyo to fly to Okinawa, to Naha. It takes like three hours to Naha from Tokyo and two hours from, from, from Seoul. But, but yeah, it's convenient for us because it's like one and a half hour. Yeah, okay. Then we decided to do the first hackathon in Okinawa. So how do we do this? We use uh, online uh, collabor collaboration tools, uh, which uh, was used by a uh, GovZero community. So we, have, we held this online me meeting already before the coronavirus regularly. And uh, we have a uh, HackMD, so we have meeting minutes every time. When we, yeah, when we talk on the meeting room, we also uh, typing on the HackMD. So it's, um, I think it's a really, really good way to uh, conquer the difficulty of uh, multi-language collaboration. Then we have a Google spreadsheet, and we set up the agenda, and we have different action items, and we have um, uh, like a two week, uh, weekly meeting before the hackathon and uh, try to find the venue in Okinawa. So, um, the Halu, uh, so Halu san from Kofa Japan uh, post on his Facebook say, uh, we, we want to go to Okinawa uh, to have a hackathon. Is there any help? Uh, any friend can help us to find a um, good venue? Then we find it. Yeah, so. So we went to Okinawa together in, 19, uh, in 2019, uh, in June. So there are 38 people. We have a really great fun. I think we have like 10 projects, proposal, 10 proposals there. So we really did uh, hack together. And having beer together afterwards, which is um, very, very important. And we have the second Beijing the Ocean Meet and Hack in Tainan. Uh, it's um, around one year ago, one year ago in Wuyuan. And uh, the food is great. <laughs> food is important, okay. Then the people, uh, people from uh, South Korea and uh, Japan and Hong Kong come together and uh, do, do project together. So we, Want to have another one, the third hack, the, the third meet and hack in Jeju in 2020, March, in March. And I think friends in, in South Korea is all setting up the whole plan. And also, we find a good venue, the accommodation. And um, we are trying to, yeah, uh, reserve the tickets, airplane tickets, but it's a coronavirus. So we have to move onto online mid and hack and um, like a no mean, uh, what? And it's okay. Then we have this online meeting together and the online hack song. Um, it's fun, but uh, I really want to meet them in person. So uh, last Thursday, it's uh, two, two days ago, we have uh, the, the, actually it's a, the third, it's not the fourth, because we don't have the one in Jeju. So anyway, the fourth FTO uh, meet and hack in Tainan two days ago in Wuying. So we want to uh, have this uh, meet and hack continually and hope we can meet in person really soon. Then I will let mommy or me to, so if you are interested in joining, Please uh, join the Slack of Zero, um, hashtag uh, International Intel, or Code for Japan Intel, or uh, code, code for Korea Intel, or Code for Japan, Oversea Facing the Ocean. Yeah, okay, thank you. And uh, I will let um, me and mommy to share more projects we have been. I think me and mommy is already online. Hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Can you hear? Yes. 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 Oh. That's great. Okay. Who's? I next? can share my slide or 
you can share our slide. I think Mish, you, you can share your slide. Yes. Can you uh -huh. share your slide? Thank you. So uh, well, I cannot take my slide. Uh, so please share the slide. Mm. Are we here? It is okay. Uh. Okay. Not yet. Okay. 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 Yeah. We get it. Okay. No. No. Can you use full screen? Is it okay? Uh, no. No, not really. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Finally, my turn. <laughs> Is uh, I wish you uh, I wish you story about is of a few uh Korean <laughs> is. Uh, Facing the ocean, actually, I didn't know facing the ocean last year, but Oyan invited me so I can uh, participate with you. I hear some more. Yeah, how it started? Yes, um, yes. It's uh, last years after the time on FTO, meet and hack. And I wrap up the facing ocean. So we are the kind of the East Asia civic hacking community. So I felt I memorized it and recapped our hackathon. So at the moment in Okinawa, and I didn't know the civic hacking. So I just asked to you all and we shared out of the civic hacking project. So we, we is, uh, summarize it. Our experience is uh, collaboration and contribution and responsibility and fun. Every day problem is our keyword of the city hacking. So really impressive for us. So we shared up the city hacking case. Then also is a novel from novel. So shared the Korean city hacking project. Also the beginning of the long journey, the history project started in Okinawa. <laughs> so after the FT Meet and Hack Okinawa, I just uh, memorized it and remembered we are drink a lot and we laugh a lot and we hacking a lot and talking a lot. Those memories are really, really, really good for me and maybe it's everyone in the same feeling. In the Tainan is really good. It's that we can share the Batiku democracy soul case. And we started the data public and the fact checking case. I pe I pitched first in the Tainan FTO Mirana. After that is a Batiku is a progress of this project as a platform. And then af after that is I, same after the Tainan is a really, really good memorize all is the same to you all is uh, we laugh a lot and we take a picture a lot and uh, some dragon god is give a bless to me <laughs> so i share the jeju snack for you it's really good uh so at at the end of the tainan meeting next i said a oh, welcome to the fto meet and in jeju then i got Come back to come back to the Korea, but is a time is a coronavirus outbreak. We cannot do it. So really sad. Even though I get got the blessing from the dragon god, <laughs> I cannot do that. So but if I uh, after the meeting, I guess I think we do the a lot of things. We stand together with the Hong Kong, governor Hong Kong people, is we translate and we develop together is the Hong Kong demonstration is movement. And we also do the history progress. It's a civic hacking collaboration. It's a lot of people is a country. And we do the 
making us slack and we do the, a lot of online meetup and participate in the Johnson and Social Hack Day. Also, we do the translation and the build the strategy a lot and we do design and um, develop the hostel's uh, project is a uh, before the previous session is about the history. So it's all contribution is a thanks for the contribute all and the collaborate with this. Is. And also Spati and Code for Japan also collaborate with each other in the Asian Young Activist Research Fellowship Workshop and the Mento in Seoul. So we also meet and we, we hang out with each other and we eat a lot and and the talk a lot is a really good experience for us. After the COVID-19 outbreak, we cannot meet each other. So we shared the issue and news about that and facing the virus together. And the first of, first event is a whole article is a deal with the Taiwan mask data. So we translate together and add it together. And then in Korean version is we release it. After that is we give a insight each other is that in the in the telegram chat room. So after that is COVID, uh, code for Korea is working like this. Actually, if thanks to the FTO inside FTO is communication, code for Korea can happening in it happened in 2020. 2020. <laughs> COVID-19 Open Data Alliance proposal and the data handbook and the public mask collaboration is, it is possible from the FTU members from the Japan and the Taiwan and Hong Kong people is a story and their work and their collaborations. The FTU Anywhere Thanks to the here anywhere is we can connect it and we share the experience each other's. We feel the hackathon like is facing the virus. It's really impressive and uh, th uh, through the this FTU anywhere we can uh, wrap up our experience and share the experience even though we cannot meet in offline. So it is a kind of the FTU is a be a safety net for the each other. Also, we will keep stay and mobilize it as a community of the city capital with a beer and with the, some drink and food and fun. Last slide, last slide is hope to meet hack in Jeju soon and welcome to the Jeju. Jeju. Yeah, and um, it is really good for diving the facing through the facing the ocean. Thank, Thank you, me. Thank you. And next Thank will you. be so, uh, Mami can you Can you share the slide? Because yes. Maybe yes. Yeah. Or maybe you can time. just mm -hmm. talk like okay. one or two things about what you want to share. So uh, can you continue the slide? Is yes, it? I will. Okay. Thank you. So uh, I just I just mentioned I just want to mention about what's what the FTO brings the brings for the call for community in Japan and is it? Oh, keep going, keep going. Yeah, just can do, uh, no, no. Maybe we don't have the slide though. I think. Oh. Okay, now you have it. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, maybe 34, I think. Mm. Mommy san, you can. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we what we learn from FT Okinawa is that the foreign contributors have massive impact to encourage the local communities. 
People from local area brought their programs and ideas to the hackathon and built prototype with civic takers from other countries. And uh, this was good impact for FTO from uh, FTO one Okinawa. And next one is about FTO two Tainan. Uh, we we connect uh, FTO Tainan to the social hack day in Japan in Tokyo. And so that's why we learn, we can co co connect the hackathon together. Be and because of that, we can handle the fully online hackathon during the COVID-19 situation. And so we don't have time. So just, we want to move to the, the photos of food. <laughs> Sorry for that. So because I can I joined the FTO, we can share about the story of his her story to the contributors and we also can share the school project to uh, to uh, we can share the school project situation to Japanese contributors. And <laughs> me, can you share the slide of the food? This is the last thing that I want to say that uh, we share the food and eat together and drink beers a lot and a lot. And this is the very, inter uh, very important things for us to connect. And sometimes we sing and dance and it's also very important for us to communicate. And this makes our good connect communication. And I really want to thank you for me, Ohyun, Isabel, DM5, Jihao, and Beth and Lisa. So I want to continue this FTO. Thank you so much, Mami san yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let's go to the QA session. So uh, uh, we have a, a slide there. So everyone, you can just ask question or you can just raise your hand to ask question. These both are fine. And um, if it's possible, if you can speak English or, or ask in English, it will be better. <laughs> sorry. And uh, so <laughs> I think, uh, sorry. Uh, OK, so thank you. And so we have other speakers here now, and, and also speakers from Toronto. Okay, hello. Hello, Skydra. Can you hear us? We Hi. can, hello. It's QA <laughs> session now. <laughs> and, okay, so, um, so, uh, sorry, I have to explain in Chinese. So, <laughs> uh, so, 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 uh, I think this one's think? maybe uh, focusing uh, for the her story, Zito. Yes, for her story. Yeah. Okay. So for the her story project, um, uh, do you think the um, ability between like language ability might be a like if if someone can speak in English, so they can get more power or. Um, or become become a bias of um, who can speak, uh, who have more rights to speak, <laughs> power to speak, um, and when these kinds of international um, civic hackers uh, collaborations, and how will you uh, think about this kind of problem? Um, because uh, a project is col uh, is made by all of participators. Yeah, so um, anyone want to answer this question for her story? Um, I, th I think the language ability is important and it actually caused the, the problem he, um, the Zitos said. But uh, we're, we're also trying to eliminate this problem. And as for one of our members, Xiaoxie, he 
and he tried to um, express some issue in all the language of our members. Like he will said in English and in Korean and in Japanese. He speak a lot of times and try to eliminate these problems. Okay. So that's our uh, answer. <laughs> so uh, anyone, because three of these questions are from Zito, so I maybe sorry a bit. <laughs> yeah. So next Can question I say we have. Can yeah, about sure. the first question? Yes, of course. Uh, language will be important when we do international collaboration, but I think the more important thing is how willing you want to uh, put your effort into the projects. So if you are really want to do this, I think you will find someone to facilitate um, the process and uh, help you to conquer the difficulty about, uh, raised by the language differences. So um, I think uh, especially in GovZero, we, we are always trying to find someone to translate the language. So yeah. Just um, yeah. Just so, like we were in um, Okinawa, actually, yes. there's lots of like local local people. They came to the hackathon, but they don't speak in English. But we have people like myself <laughs> speak in Japanese, so we can uh, translate into Chinese, and someone translate Chinese into English. So like um, you don't need to speak in English, but you can still uh, participate in lots of um, lots of um, projects. Also, uh, sorry because I um, because uh, friends from Toronto, <laughs> they they just come up. So uh, I I have some question for you, uh, because uh, here we have Nufu and we have uh, Code for Japan, which are pretty familiar and already have some events holding together with Gov Zero. So um, my question is, I would like to know in Toronto, in Co uh, in Civitech Toronto, do you have any like collaboration, like building same project together? with other community in Toronto or maybe uh, other countries, civic tech hackers? Uh, I think I'll, I'll start. Thank you for your question. Um, as, as I understand it, uh, you'd like to know about the collaboration that Civic Tech Toronto has with other groups in civic tech or otherwise uh, around Canada and the world. Um, in Toronto, uh, there's like there are a number of not-for-profit organizations that we've worked with. Some of our projects become uh, other organizations and in some cases we still work with them. Um, so these, this could be like the Law and Design Collab in the legal sphere or Toronto Mesh in the internet sphere. Uh, we're always looking for ways to collaborate and support each other. With not-for-profits, sometimes this means uh, they can act as like a problem owner uh, and explain the kind of situation and we can maybe assist them, intervene a little bit. Um, and with other civic tech communities in Canada, uh, we, uh, we're doing our best to build a more cohesive network. Um, but I don't know, Canada is like physically very big, but I don't know, that shouldn't contribute to the distance, but sometimes the communities also feel a little bit distant. The issues can be very regional and it's difficult for us to maintain like a solid um, practice of communication uh, over time. Um, Will you consider like these kinds of event like FTO, so <laughs> the people around country or around the world can 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 make a project and proposal together and and solve local problem together and have party and drinking <laughs> together. I think this kind of more softened events will help um, uh, ideas grow and innovations happen. Yeah, so if you want to join us, <laughs> please, please contact Isabel. <laughs> Yeah, let's go to Toronto. <laughs> yeah, so uh, next, uh, any other question from, from here? Like, Okay, uh, we have time for, we still have 10 minutes, so let's look at the questions online. Uh, there's another question, uh, mostly about uh, her story. Yeah, uh, there's a new question, like how can we increase the male participates for feminist related projects such as her story? <laughs> Please come to front. 
How, how do you think? Or maybe me? Me? Do you have any ideas? Oh. <laughs> how to increase um, uh, male participants? Uh, male participants? Oh, it is hard to. But it's, it's, uh, I, I think it's, uh, our community is uh, to like a, a, is a kind of the connection by, by person person. So near the our male person, near the boy, we talk each other. Then it's one person, one person is a getter. Then we can do it. It's maybe it's the first it, in the FTO. There are a lot of the male person, so we can we can gather together next meet an app. <laughs> oh, male panel. <laughs> no, just yeah. kidding. <laughs> yeah. And our next question, I want to skip to the FTO question for Isabel. Uh, are there non-coder designer in the FTO communities? Like since language cultural are already exist uh, barriers, will the inclusion of non-coder create more challenging? Coder. We I'm, are. We are. <laughs> we, we are. are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't code. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> code. I'm not <laughs> Yeah. So uh, I think we welcome everyone. Yeah. To join. Yeah. So you can always provide your opinions and uh, your thoughts and do something like uh, I majorly uh, join the participants as the organizers or facilitators in the community. So that's some. Yeah, that's something the coders or programmers or nerds or geeks <laughs> who will not um, want to do or they are not good at, at that. But actually, I yeah. think another very important thing is actually some people who are very familiar with issues, like they know what the problem is and what the issue they are facing. Like we were in, uh, when we were in Okinawa, there are several like uh, local people, they are not coder, they don't know how to build tools, but they just come with their pro problem, their issue. Uh, one, I think one, uh, one lady, she brought a brought up, uh, uh, she, she went to us and write a proposal say, uh, because Ishikaki Iceland, uh, uh, are full of trashes on, on their beach. So there's the idea she wants to clean those trashes, but she don't know what to do. So uh, that's her proposal. I think people who bring these local issues here are very important because um, because you see the problem, but you don't know how to solve it. So let's solve it together with coders, designers, and lawyers. Yeah, so we, we think it's very important to have diverse uh, people to come to join the, uh, in this um, luxury, no, <laughs> in this entertainment uh, environment to, 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 to make more innovations. Yeah. So uh, our next question is also for I think it's for her story. And what kinds of people with non-tech backgrounds are participating? Do you have any participants from NGOs, for example? Um, uh, this is my first time in NGO. <laughs> and and I, also, I also joined the uh, Libot project and other um, my log 14. But only her story is the the project that I um, put a lot, of, a lot of effort on it. And I think, uh, may I see the question again? <laughs> oh, and in our project, we also have, since we are a, we are a mm, feminism issue project, and we also have a lot of like mm, feminism professor or something, professional. And, and I, think, I think it's not a problem whether, uh, which, which profession you are, it just because uh, Gov Zero is a very open community. So uh, no matter what profession you have, you can you can uh, do a lot of thing a lot of things in it. Mm. Thank you so much. And uh, so there's another question. Can one on Slido? Do the participants found themselves to join the in-person meetings, where financial barriers are challenging? It is. So we are trying to hold the meet and up in different countries, 
not just in one country. Maybe this time in Taiwan and next time we want to go to South Korea or Japan. So the local people will join more easily. And also we are trying to find fun, uh, fundings and uh, have some subsidized to them um, for traffic and accommodation and food um, for the participants. Like the the first time that we provide accommodation and um, um, food for participants in the past um, um, facing the ocean meetup for the participant. For the, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. Uh, do we have any other question for like Toronto or for uh, Korea community? You are free to raise your hand or using a uh, slido. So uh, there's another new question. Uh, I think this is for all of our participators. Uh, for school teacher, do you have any suggestion about how to teach uh, gender equality? Maybe it's mainly for uh, her story. Me? <laughs> any suggestion? Uh, you mean is a uh, teacher how to how teach to teach gender equality? Is it? Yeah, uh -huh. to their students. Uh -huh. As a history project work is so we collect our history story and the gender issue news and some someone story. So in a school and with the. Uh, with teacher and students can collect gender issue news and uh, read up the news and uh, some issue history. So the staff is kind of the participation activity of the history and it is really educational for them maybe. So I always suggest to teacher join our project. <laughs> yeah, joining her story. Okay, uh, so last question uh, I want to ask uh, for Toronto. Um, do, do you guys have any projects like, uh, for its uh, example, like uh, gender about genders equality? Maybe since lots of people interested in gender equality <laughs> in Toronto. Um, I, I can start. So, so the question is, do we have any projects that focus on gender, like yes. focus on gender inclusion? Yes. Oh, yeah. No. So that's a that's a great question. Um, and like it's it's very much encoded in our in our values and our code of conduct at the beginning. Like we want to make Civic Tech Toronto a space where anyone and everyone can feel included. And um, one key project that really got started in our space is is one that's called women and color so in toronto um the tech scene there's a lot of issues with really just getting women and people of color regional racialized communities particularly racialized communities of women involved in the tech scene and so that project got it started in civic tech toronto and is really really taken off and has done really well and so we do our best to invite them back and give us project updates um, but we're always looking at bringing in as much of an inclusive lens accessibility by, uh, by default as well just extending um, as much as we possibly can so it's really important to us for sure <laughs> So much. It's very happy to see like all all the civic tech community actually really really uh, care about like gender equality and gender um, involving. I think that's very important since um, this kind of community usually uh, lots of male <laughs> engineers. So uh, it's very happy to see this uh, this trend. So thank you every everyone to join our session today and thank you everyone online and also thank you uh people from from here so uh see you next time <laughs> Yeah please Can we take a photo? Can we yeah, take sure, a screen sure, grab? Sure. Can I screen hey. grab? Can everybody smile? How, how do we do that? Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look in the camera everybody one two three Yay! <laughs> we'll tweet this. Thank you so much. One for more, sorry. <laughs> yes, one more speaker. Yeah. Bye bye, bye bye. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. See you again. Bye.
So fun. <laughs> why, why raping Gun Girl in here? <laughs> I feel like they're taking photos. Sorry, so like, uh, oh, because no. our camera is in the back <laughs> over there, so we can't let them to, to see girl. their See you again. Their face. Girl. Yeah. See you. Bye bye. Bye. See you again. Oh, thank you for joining us today. Oh, that's actually like this kind of international exchange. 就是呃会持续的进行，那也欢迎大家。其实你不用担心，可能我英文不好啊，日文不好啊，不会讲韩文啊，其实都不用担心，反正来就对了。那反正。就是会有人帮你翻嘛，对，那那有什么 idea？ 尤其是我们很希望能够有人带着，就是呃当地的议题来，就是能够让大家去思考说，哎，那这个这个这件事情我没有想过，哎，那我们可以做什么事情？那或许不同的国家就会带着他们不同的经验，然后能够有更多的一些呃发想以及一些创意出现。谢谢大家。哦，不好意思，我要特别感谢，就是刚刚有一个不断在线上打工别人，就是就是不知道不知道是在线上还是在线。场，总之非常感谢你，我觉得你超棒的，谢谢，拜拜。